So we've brought the scale electric track out of storage. Uh, we didn't dismantle it, we've just had it tucked into the corner and it's kind of been used as a bit of a table. Uh, but the one thing we have done is we fixed it. Right at the end of the Grand Prix that we did, uh, one of the tracks broke and we did a few tests. We tested the power supply, tested the triggers, uh, and we couldn't get it working. But today we found that one of the power supplies, uh, one no, one of the half track pieces had broken. So um, it wasn't even a half track, it was like a, an old power supply that had been cut off and it was short circuiting. So we fixed that, so we've got the whole tracks working again. So we're gonna dismantle it today, we're gonna put it into storage. Um, but the slot cars, you might remember from the first video, they were all in this box. But we don't want to just chuck them all back in here, we want to do something a bit better. So we're going to level up our slot car storage and we're going to put them all in this toolbox. This should be perfect because the cars fit um, front to back. You can fit pretty much all those slot cars. You've, you've got a nice, uh, nice width for the cars there. So we can fit six per drawer and we'll, we'll get all them nice and organised. But before we do that, before we dismantle it, there was one member of our team who never got to put a time on the board. So we never truly found out who was the Scale Electric champion at Shadow Foam. So, this is Mike, our production manager, and he missed out a couple months ago, didn't you? I did. You never managed to get a time on the board, uh, and I think you were probably strong competition for Nathan, our cameraman. So you're gonna be in the uh, R8. That is, you, you, you do have a free selection, you can choose another car, but I think we found that was one of the better ones. And then I'm in the police car, I'm gonna be trying to knock you off. So, if I can, yeah. <laughs> okay, so the score to beat is 23.93. So three laps, I'm gonna start timing. So start on go. Yeah. And uh, I'm gonna try and knock you off, Mike. Right, three, two, one, go. Yeah, you've got to get it off. <laughs> no, you're on the other one. But I'll move you. You're on the right track now. Right, so I've got a time. And I won't dramatise it. It was 34. No. <laughs> so you never quite beat Nathan. But as soon as you come off the track, you've basically lost all hope. Pretty much, actually. So the only other thing I want to do before we pack up this Scale Electric set is beat my time of 32.06. I think I thought I'd done, I did the first lap last time and I never really did it again. And then uh, a couple of laps, a couple of goes later, my wife beat me. I think she got about 25 seconds. So I've got to try and beat that score before we pack this thing up as well. So Nathan wants to try and knock me off, so it's fair. He's gonna, you're gonna be on the police car this time. Yep. And uh, let's give it a go. Let's see if I can beat this 32.06 to beat. All right, do you wanna count it down? That is better, that's better than the last, it's 26.82. Which is pretty good, but still not beat Jess. So there we go, time to back up the scale electrics, I think. Right, so that's the whole track dismantled, and these are what we're left with. Three quite light, nice panels. They'll be easily, they'll be easy to store. We put all the track into a tote, and then the last thing to do is organize all of the slot cars, all the scale electric cars into this box. So I think that's gonna be easier to do in the workshop, so let's head that way. Right, so this is the toolbox that we're gonna be uh, organizing all of the cars into. This, um, this little box I've had for a while, actually, it came from Machine Mart, and it's a great little, little box and it's just the perfect width and depth to, to house these uh, slot cars. So I've already um, set up a layout, which I'm happy with. So in the bottom, we've got the, uh, the two cop cars and we've got these three Audis. Then we've got the two Ferraris, two Bugattis, and then the two F1 cars. And then in this one, we've got the five kind of rally uh, stickered up. So they're kind of in order, but then they're also kind of 
what goes together and what matches. Obviously we want that bit of symmetry there too, which we like. And then on the top, we've got these Le Mans cars, which match as well. And then we're also gonna cut in this little red tray because we've always we've got these little brushes and little parts that you wanna keep handy. So we're gonna cut those into a little red tray. That came from Ikea as well. So uh, yeah, we, we've got the foam inserts. These are from our website. So on uh, shadowfoam.com, you can buy custom, uh, custom size shadow foam. Um, in whatever color you want and you can just put in the dimensions and you can choose the 30 mil 50 mil or 70 mil depth um, And here we've got pieces that have been um, Cut to the size of the drawers which makes it dead easy because they just slot straight in so the, f the only thing to do now Is to lay them out and cut them in do a bit of uh, foam cutting so We'll start with this top drawer here And we'll just transfer the cars over for the layout And we're going to have them a little bit closer to the front because the drawer doesn't come all the way out. There's about an inch under the back. So we're not going to put them center of the drawer. We're going to put them a little bit to the front. And we're just looking for even spacing. So I'm going to put that orange one in the middle and space these out evenly. And once we've done that, it's time to do some cutting. So I've got to put the gloves on. And then we're going to start with this one on the right hand side. I'm going to make sure it's square. And all we have to do is put a little bit of light pressure on it so it doesn't move. And then we're going to use the scalpel that comes in our cutting kits to just lightly score around the item, making sure that the knife is uh, 90 degrees to the foam, and nice and tight to the cart. And once I've gone all the way around, and I'm happy that I've met back up at the start, I can take the item away. And then if I press down on the foam, I can show the cut that I've made, and we just want to go around it again to make that cut deeper. So for this, we've got 30 mil piece of foam and I'm gonna cut down around about 20 mil and that way the car will sit nicely in the foam. But it'll be a little bit proud just so we've got a nice finished look. And obviously we've got some clearance in the drawer. So once we've cut around it, we can just take the gloves off. We start at one end, we just push our fingers in and we're just forcing the foam back. It doesn't peel like a banana at one end we just need to push our fingers underneath the foam to peel back the layers. I think it will take a little bit more out there. Just to stop it bouncing around, give it that little bit more protection. And that is perfect. Right, so let's do the other ones. this one we do need to trim out um, a little bit of space for this this like is the locking bar so when you close the lid it locks the drawers in place so we do need to make an allowance for that so I'll just show you quickly how we do that so the uh, the foam's been cut to size to fit in the top and we can see we've got like a bit of a raised lip on the sides so we have to just kind of fold it past that but if I just push the back in it means I can just see where the the bar is so I can just make a little a very light cut just so I can see I can remove the piece of foam again so all I need to do there now is just cut that little section out nice and square just to make sure we're not putting pressure on that locking bar okay so that's all that takes and then now we can cut in the cars and cut in the the little tub that we've got.
Okay, so that wraps it up, and I'm really happy with that little case, to be honest. I think this box itself is like the perfect size for these slot cars. I mean, you've got a bit of space front and back, so they look really nice, but we've been able to get six cars in this drawer, and you can obviously easily get to them. You can get them in and out, and the drawers close nicely, so it's pretty efficient setup. We've got five cars in the bottom. We've got six in there. These are in pairs, and obviously we've got the five kind of like rally stick it up cars there, and in the top we've managed to fit the two pairs of Le Mans cars, and then a little tray as well for all the little brushes and spare parts. And I mean, obviously with this set, maybe 20 slot cars is a bit overkill. Uh, I don't really know if, if you're a slot car racer, let us know what you would typically take in kind of like a portable kind of box like this. I'd imagine you might want to have like a drawer with some tools in it possibly, you know, some little, little snips, little pliers, maybe a few little screwdrivers. So this kit could be tailored to any way you wanted. And obviously these shadow foam liners, you can buy in a variety of colors. We could have had the color facing up as well. So we could have really mixed up this design. We've kept it quite simple. We've just gone for the 20 slot cars, but I'd love to hear what any kind of slot car enthusiast, scale electric enthusiast, what you would have done and how you would have kind of configured this toolbox to better meet like the needs of a slot car racer. Um, but if you like this video, we've got loads more videos coming and we've possibly got more scale electric <laughs> videos in the pipeline. So make sure to subscribe to the channel and drop us a comment on what you think we could have done with this box and we'll see you next time.